I'll pronounce that properly. And pronunciation is important, isn't it, Romy? It is indeed. Let's give you a bit more welly there on the microphone. So how do we pronounce your full name properly? It is Romy Simpkins. <laughs> we don't want to say Romy, do we? Or what are the other things that people have called you? Romy, Ronnie. Ronnie? Yeah, I don't know how that slipped in. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I am very, very pleased that you could join us today because you do good things, don't you? I like to hope I do. <laughs> you certainly do. And we had a wonderful time on Saturday night, didn't we? We did, no, it was great. We did the Lewis Manning Dinner Dance, a charity that we are <clears throat> so behind. Four thousand pounds they raised it's incredible isn't it it's wonderful so good. and they had people pinching your what do we call the banner my sash your sash and posing with your sash it's very important to me but you are the real miss bournemouth i'm gonna to have to bring that microphone a little bit closer to you and there you go fantastic so you are our breakfast sandwich today yes. which means two choices of music That's are the right. top and bottom of the sandwich and we have chosen craig david do you know what? If you search for Crave Davis, it doesn't work. <laughs> so tell us about Nothing Like This. Why do you like this song? It's just a really upbeat song. It gets me in the mood um, to just, you know, enjoy every day. So that's why I like it. Do you actually use music to get you through the day? Yeah. No, we, we always have it in our office as well. So it's, you know, always um, good to feel positive. And if you've got a beat behind you, you know, even if you're talking to people on the phones, it's a, you know, you just feel more happier. I think that's Darth Vader's problem. You know, if you're trying to work with da 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 da, da it's not going to get you off to a good thing. You need to sort of... Anyway, I will stop being an idiot now. <laughs> uh, no, I won't. And we'll play nothing like this. This is Craig David. And to give you a good beat to do your Rice Krispies to. So tell us about your Australian cat. My Australian cat. Um, so yes, I actually um, volunteered in a shelter out in Australia during my time there. And um, I fell in love with this cat that I was kind of looking after. Um, he was quite poorly before. So when he came into the shelter, I was just like, I have to have him. Right. Slightly crazy, climbed up the gates, but I was like, you know, it's got to be done. And I brought him back to the UK. So he's well travelled. What was the route you were telling me? Um, he went from Brisbane to Bangkok to Heathrow. Really? Yes. <laughs> so he's a well-travelled cat, and the bit I liked best was the fact that you say he's a meow is different to an English cat. Yeah, he has a really high-pitched, squeaky meow compared to my other one. It's, it's straight and he, he does it a lot. <laughs> We've got two cats from the same litter. One talks, <laughs> and if you're a cat lover, you understand that. Oh. Yum, 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 yum. The yeah. other one says nothing, but has this fantastic... It's so good, yeah. I actually recorded it for the show. Definitely. So they've all got their own little characteristics, haven't they? And, so they're, and they're independents. Now we're going to talk about charities because you do amazing work. And that, is that part of the role as Miss Bournemouth? Yeah, I think it's important um, to not only um, you know, show your, yourself as a positive person, it's to raise the platforms that you, know, you, you find important. And one of them is the charities you will support. Um, so yeah, a range of different ones I do support, obviously nationally as well as locally. Um, so it's always been for a good cause, uh, and that's what makes you feel good at the end of the day. It is. It's worth getting out of bed for, isn't it? So tell us about the one in Manchester. Um, so the one in Manchester is the main one I'm supporting and raising funds for at the moment. Um, it's called the Christie. Um, basically, it's a facility, um, a part of the N NHS, um, that builds centres for teenagers, adults, children, uh, for people with life threatening illnesses. Um, so it's, they've done fantastic. I've raised 2,000 previously, fantastic. but I'd like to raise... Yeah more <laughs> we'd like to double that wouldn't we definitely yeah. we have a lot of very very generous people who listen to hope fm and our tagline is life-changing radio so let's change some lives exactly. now i bet you are a busy lady i am i've had to buy a diary <laughs> <laughs> so do you have to manage your own schedule yes yeah. yes i'm my own boss well besides my mum probably helping me along the way yeah, good but... old mums yeah so um it's um tell us about the typical week then what sort of happens is there a typical week? No, every no. week is different. Every week you, is different. Like, I'm actually going to Wales tomorrow and then Birmingham on Sunday. Um, I actually flew to Manchester last week, so I could I could be going anywhere. So You do need a diary then. Yes. Mum's back up. Fantastic. <laughs> um, it would be wrong to ask you about favourite charities, but are there any standout moments in the adventures you've had so far where you go, 
Wow. Oh, that was a wonderful <laughs> moment. That is difficult, but obviously, like I said, I've got my cat, so I am a huge animal lover. So um, I actually um, volunteer with the Cats Protection, um, the local one, um, and you know we're going to do some fairs and fundraisers on behalf. I know someone's doing a skydive on behalf of them. I think they're trying to get me into that as well. Not with the cat. <laughs> Not with the cat. As much as my cat probably would love it. But no. <laughs> <laughs> Your Australian one, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a stunt cat. Maybe I'm there. Yeah. Ta-da. Fantastic. Um, so yeah there's there's others um, I'm all about mental health I find that really important I know it's been in the news lately um, and Dorset did have the and was actually a good thing that we will get people referred quicker um, but there's always more to be done I think definitely especially for younger children and or maybe teenagers when it's actually starting um, the mental health is impacting them a bit more actually nowadays. And you've got a great heart for children, haven't you? Yes, I studied in childcare, so... Yeah, I did a little bit of reading up. Bournemouth <laughs> Echo from 2012. Oh, my. <laughs> Talking about your ambitions to start your own nursery. Have yes. those ambitions changed in those four years? Or? No, um, I will always want to do that. It's um, obviously just taking time out of your schedule to obviously get there. But there are obviously so many different opportunities that, you know, being Miss Bournemouth International is kind of done for me. Um, and that's where... I'm going to use it for all purposes. Yes. Leverage it. Excellent. Fantastic. <laughs> so what's the second choice of song? And we'll, uh... I'm going to choose Mama from Spice Girls. Oh, for Mum? It is for my mum. We love that song. That's a really beautiful song. It's lovely. But of Spice okay. Girls. Let's see what they put as their top appreciated entertainer. Wannabe. Let's talk about Terra. The top choice what's it Spotify? like yeah. to go into these competitions? Oh, terrible. No, I'm joking. No, <laughs> no they're, they're really great, actually. Um, I've never known such lovely people. Yep. Everyone's just come together. There's there's a whole community of people that do it, and you know everyone's so supportive of one another. Um, and in that, it doesn't it doesn't make you want to give up. You just keep going. You know, you'll keep trying whatever it takes to you know get yourself out there, get yourself known, and you know, find your purpose really. So you've had some victories so far. What's the next big goal? Okay, so the next big goal for me is um, to compete in the first ever UK power pageant. Yes. Power um, pageant. <laughs> that should have a jingle, doesn't it? it You're on a with them power pageant, the first UK one. Okay, drum roll. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Um, so with this one, there's not just one chance of winning a title, there's four. Um, so lots more opportunities for more girls um, and each one you can, you'll be competing internationally, you could be going to Japan, you could be going to Las Vegas, you can be going to Africa, so it all depends on what one suits you and um, so it's quite interesting to, to see what's going to happen really. Any top choice? Would it be Japan? Would it be Africa? It would probably be Japan, yeah. the, the, the main Miss International UK title, you know, you've got, you've got to go big, you've got to go for it, you know. Yeah, oh, I'd love to go to Japan. That'd be fantastic. They're, they're, they've got a bit of a, well, they've got a terrible situation going. One of the islands was hit by an earthquake yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So that's the sort of thing that we can highlight when we have that public image that you have. Exactly. Can't we? Yeah, yeah, that's what these things are all about. They're about you know show, showing awareness of things that you might not have considered, and then you, with this you know this title, you go around and people actually will take interest and take notice. So it is important. And has your string of victories made you feel more confident and sort of self-assertive? I would just say it's made me a lot more prouder of myself. I just feel like I've accomplished good things and, you know, it's even it's just going to go further and further. And that just makes me feel a much better person in myself, really. <laughs> yeah, it's ticking some, ticking some boxes, isn't it? So, young people who aspire to follow in your footsteps, do you have words of advice for them? Just don't give up. Don't literally. give up. Just keep going. I know that there's always going to be, you know, downsides where you think, oh, I haven't done enough, or you know, oh, this this happened, that. But you know, at the end of the day, life's worth living, so you might as well go for you it. Might go for the full, go for the full life. And in fact, we could say never give up, couldn't we? <laughs> So that was Chris Manning's single. We're going to ask you to get behind that single as well here at um, Hope FM because he's only his goal is only to have a thousand downloads. They're ninety nine p each, and every penny goes to Lewis Manning. That's so yeah, uh, yeah he's an amazing guy. I think that was something I'd love our listeners to get behind. Never give yes. up, Chris Manning. Yes. Now so it's Romy, so R O M Y, and then Odile is O D I L E. Lovely, fantastic, and we'll post a link on the Hope FM page as well. I have to ask you, what do you do to recharge? If you're that busy doing good works, 
How do you get your energy back? Apart from the cats. Shopping! Shopping. <laughs> shopping. Retail therapy. <laughs> yeah, it works, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it works. Good. Cats and shopping, then. <laughs> well, have a fantastic week, month, year, career. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Oh, thank you. And um, get behind Romy's work, because it's all good stuff. You are listening to Hope FM, life-changing radio, um, bringing a bit of sparkle into your morning. This is Sun Dave Griffiths. Thank you very much.